All right, I made some gourds this year. These are the first ones I painted right here. These are rattle gourds. So, I made them for my daughter. Pretty good. This one's got kind of a fishy, fish, water, sea, land. Goes up to a, supposed to be a sun on the top. And the other one is kind of a tribal somewhat, I guess. I found my daughter's name right here. Peace sign. Water, earth, and, and this is like the winds, you know, fire. So, and I got some different paint for this one. See so, yeah, how cool. It's a better acrylic. It's like yin and yang, you know, kind of yin and yang, you know. So, what's that? This is uh, one that I bought from the store, but it's dried out. There's a difference between that and this one's got a bigger sound to it. And this one's got a more like a supposed to sound. So I just painted this one yellow. It's got a louder rattle to it. This is what this one started at. This right here looks like this originally. And you can just let them dry out. It don't take that long to do it all. Um, I just let them sit in the house and you kind of have to scrub some of them because they'll, they'll start to mold in here but once you get the, the the plant to start to dry out like that this will dry and you want to do that and then you can just paint over it but it's a light rattle so and then this one in the back is a gourd it's really big put hands all over it like so you could something you want to grab a hold of and play with you know kids would play with it's got a lot more to it so that's what I did this year. Some of them I got some small ones that I haven't painted yet, but I'm thinking about doing some snowman ones. These are real heavy and then they get really, really light. Like you could just them to dry out. But the key thing is to make sure that you don't let them mildew, mold. And you see some of the mold right here. See how this is? And, you, and I took a scrubber to it and scrubbed it off. Is what I did. So. Pretty, and then you want to scrape the skin off of these. There's a skin, and it looks kind of green. This is yellow, actually. It's not greenish color that it is, but you'll scrape the skin off. And you want to do that before you paint them, because if not, it'll it'll just flake off the other. This is partly still got some of the skin right here. Well, if you painted it, this it might come off before you you do this right here. Before you get to this level, so then now I could paint this because it's it stopped coming off. You can take some sandpaper, a little bit of bleach to it too. Not very much. Just I clogged up a drain doing this at mom's house, but at least I think I did. <clears throat> That's about it. This is my gourd video. You can get these at any. You can get them at Walmart stores, your local farmers market. They're just a uh, different kind of gourd that you can let dry out and they'll come into this right here. They got different colors and shapes too. There's orange ones and red ones and ones that look like bubbled up all over the skin. These are your typical you know, birdhouse gourds, small ones. And this is your uh, your rattle gourds. So, and then this is your this is like a snake gourd is supposed to be, but it's it really didn't snake. I got some of the ones out in the back that are drying out that'll that look more like snakes. Some of them look like bats. So. That's about it for this year.